and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and today's tip is all about Zoom. Zoom is a very popular piece of video conferencing software that many of us may have become aware of over the last few weeks. It allows you to have online meetings, webinars, have conference rooms, or just use it as a phone system or instant messaging. As well as this, you can, of course, use it to present things as well as to chat with each other over audio as well as the video component. I'm going to dive in with all of those today. To start with, let's look at Zoom on the Mac. So when you first install the Zoom app, to start with, it will actually ask you if you can grant it permissions to access the folder called Downloads on your Mac. This is normal and this is something that we'll get back to it a little bit later. But the short explanation for now is this means that if you want to save a recording of a Zoom session to your Mac, then that's where it will go. So the very first thing that we see when we've launched Zoom is the option to join a meeting highlighted in blue. The secondary option available to us is sign in. Now, this means that if I were to want to join a meeting, then I could go ahead and do that without signing in at all. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and click on join a meeting. And I just need to input the meeting ID first. Now I asked for the meeting ID or the personal link name. I prefer to use the meeting ID. And that is a string of nine numbers separated by dashes. This should be given to you by the host of the meeting, or you would see it at the top of the meeting screen. I'll show you that in a moment. So let's go ahead and put that one in. Now, I don't need to type the dashes when I'm inputting this number. It inputs those automatically for me. Our next field is your name. Now, this has been taken from the account name of macOS, not the display name that's shown in the top right hand corner, but rather the name of the primary folder inside of Mac OS. Now, at the minimum here, I'm missing three capital letters, S, C, and O, but I'll go ahead and input my real name. Here, I also have an option to remember my name for future meetings. You may want to disable this if sometimes you attend meetings as your company name, and sometimes you attend it as your name. In my case, both of those names are the same, Rosemary Orchard. But if I were attending a meeting as a representative of Screencast Online, I could go ahead and put that in there, providing I had Don's permission, of course. Next option is don't connect to my audio and turn off my video. Now, if like some of us working from home, you've already made the decision that pajamas are indeed the best working from home outfit, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and tick the turn off my video option. Don't connect to audio is exactly what it sounds like. If you don't want to speak, you know that you won't be expected to speak or, like many of us at the moment, you may be dealing with unusual working from home situations and could be expecting the occasional loud noise. So now I'm ready for my meeting, I can go ahead and just click join. This will take a moment and I may need a password for the meeting. Again, this should be provided by the meeting organiser if there is one. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put this in right here. Now I'm connecting to my meeting and because this is the first time that I'm using Zoom on this device, it's asking for permission to access the microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Here the host has started sharing their screen and my Mac automatically changes to full screen to view this particular, in this case, fabulous website that is being shared. Now, if I want to, I can go ahead and change that back to not full screen so that I can perhaps split the screen with this and something else. Or in this case, I'm just going to leave it a little bit smaller for the time being. Across the bottom of the screen, we can choose to join the audio, share our video, invite somebody, see who is participating in the call, share our screen, open the chat, record something, send a reaction or leave the meeting. I'm going to go ahead and leave the meeting for now, and we'll come back to all of these in detail later. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive 
full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.